fish on guys. This one's on the head. What's up everybody? Joe Jellison here with Chat Cats Fishing. Today I'm fishing on Nickajack Lake, Tennessee River, and I'm fishing from the bank. Uh, right now we have a very fast current. It's pulling 87,000 cubic feet per second below Chickamauga Dam and we are boatless today. Uh, there's a creek mouth right here and I'm fishing kind of in this fast moving water where it meets with an eddy beyond these trees. I was able to catch some pretty big shell cracker and that's what we're using as bait. Trying to go for a big blue. You can see the current right here. It's a little bit of a slower moving current compared to what's out in the main channel. But uh, we're fishing pretty close to the bank. It's very rocky, which means it's pretty snaggy too. So we'll just see if uh, we can get a fish. So stay tuned. This one's getting a bite, guys. It was already getting a bite. Guys, we have a fish on. Mr. Sam Simons, huh? Really big, but fun to watch that, hear that clicker run. And that uh, shell cracker head you got. It's a decent one, huh? Yeah, I got, it's kind of a wimpy rod, but sure is fun. Here I'm hitting the drag a little bit. Let me get the fish grippers. Oh no. Did he come off? I no. feel like he's got me in something. Hold on, just get, just let me get the fish grippers. Get him out. Oh, is he still hung? Yeah, he went running uh, back around a bit. Maybe just give him time to. The battles of fighting a fish with all these trees. Come on, Sam. I think you got him out. Yeah, I think he's out now. Yeah, you got him. For now. He's not really big, just hung me up in something. I don't know, it may be decent. That's a nice one, man. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's, That's probably, cool. yeah, man. Nice flathead. Yeah, cool. Let me grab your eye. Would you say 12 pounds, 15 maybe? Yeah, I'd say that's like 13 or so. That's cool, flatty. Yeah, right on the shell cracker head. Three, two, one. Cool. That's a nice fish. Yeah. <laughs> He'll figure it out. Hey, Nux. Nice. 
It's a good one, dude. All right, guys, this is our second spot. My buddy Sam had to leave, so we ended up just packing it up, and I ended up coming here. But uh, he caught a small blue and a flathead in the creek mouth. So this is the second spot, and it's from a private dock. I've been here before. Some of you guys may be familiar with this dock from other videos, but uh, we got a pretty good current out here and uh, it's muddy, it's high. You can even see the mud line in the trees. And we're gonna see if we can get on something. We are using a cut shell cracker. Pretty big chunk. So yeah, this is what we're using. Cut shell cracker. All right, so we got two rods casted out right in this creek. It's probably around 15 feet or so. And uh, I'm hoping we can get a good blue out of here. Ah, did he come off? Gonna fish, guys. Fish on. There we go, guys. It's a pretty small one. I think. I had I had a bite on this other rod and I missed the fish and then this one started going. Uh, that actually looks like a pretty good fish. I want to go ahead and get this other rod out of the way. This may pan out pretty good, guys, in this creek. So glad I came over here.
There we go. That's a nice blue. Right on the shell cracker. There we go. First blue catfish of the day. And I did bring my scales this time, so we will go ahead and weigh the fish. Wow, it's a lot bigger than I thought. 18.95. Good fish. That is a lot bigger than I thought, I guess with that belly. Makes it a really good fish. That is a beautiful fish. Let's go ahead and release it. Eighteen pound blue catfish. That's a good start for me. Come on and take it. Fish on, guys. This one's pretty small. Oh, he came off right at the end. Oh. I mean, he just now came off. Oh, that's all right. There we go, guys. Fish on. Don't tell me you're gonna come off. No, nope, we got this one. We have some really good action now, guys. I think this one's pretty small, though. Yeah, this one's a small one. This is our second fish within, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes. That's pretty good. Now 
that's a good fish. We'll get a weight on him. Why not? Since I have my scale here. 11.67. 11.65. That's a good fish. Just a tad over 11 and a half pounds. Seems a little smaller than that though. Nice fish. I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece off. And put one that's more fresh. I typically put a new piece on if the blood is all dried out. So as you can see, there's really no blood in here. And, and when that happens, I typically put on a new piece that's fresh. I'm going to go ahead and reel this one in. We haven't had a bite on this rod in, I don't know, close to 30 minutes. And I'm going to put a fresh piece on. I'm going to go ahead and use this head. It's going to take a big fish to get that one down. Fish on, guys. This one's on the head. This one's on the head. This one was screaming. Yeah, this one's a better fish, I think. Yeah. Oh, don't tell me he came off. No, 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 no. No, he's on there. He's just coming towards the dock. He's gonna dig here. This is a good fish, I think. Yep. Getting a little bit of drag. This one's on the shell cracker head. Yep, there he is. It's a nice one.
There we go, guys. Yeah, he may go, uh, he may go 19, 20 pounds. Right on the shell cracker head. 21.52, 21.36, Right there, 21 pounds. All right, guys, let's go ahead and release this 21 pound blue catfish. There he goes, back to the depths. We're gonna go ahead and call it quits for today. Three fish in this spot, fishing South Chickamauga Creek. Uh, biggest fish was 21 pounds, ended up missing one as well. But uh, not a bad bite. This is when I love to fish the creek, is when the water's high, it's muddy. Uh, really good current in here. The floodgates are spilling 87,000 cubic feet per second of water, and that's a lot. So the backwaters of the creek can get really good. So anyway, guys, as always, give a thumbs up for this video, and we'll see you later.